There was a new development in the Dallas Police Fire Pension Fund crisis today. Not long after a judge ordered certain pension fund payments to stop, there's now a chance for some retirees to access that money. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga, live in Dallas with more. Deanna. Steve Clarice, this latest uh, decision in court is, is just really the latest turn in one of the lawsuits over this failing pension fund. Today, a judge agreed with a group of retired police officers who asked the court to reconsider a complete stop on certain payments. I'm hoping that the, the board can actually do something to help out these individuals, uh, these officers. That's their money. The Dallas Police Association's Frederick Frazier reacting to news. There's been a compromise of sorts in the courtroom over money in the Deferred Retirement Option Program, also known as DROP. If we had any other option, we would have pursued any other option. Earlier this month, the pension board and a judge took emergency action, freezing withdrawals after Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings sued to stop panicked pensioners from pulling out money. I wish it wouldn't have come like that. I wish I wish there would have been a, a meeting of the minds and, and, a, and a, some sensibility because what happened is the overreaction from that brought a whole nother action in the plan of panic. And all these panics have caused this thing to spiral downhill. Today, Judge Tanya Parker agreed with five retired Dallas police officers who petitioned the court to reconsider on behalf of retirees. Their lawyers argued the drop distributions should continue for retirees who are already getting regular installments as part of their monthly benefits. These guys are not going in there and pulling out their entire savings. They live off this monthly amount. Attorney Kirk Pittard says while a judge agreed some payments to certain retirees should be allowed, it would still be up to the pension board to ease restrictions. It meets again on December 29th. This latest chapter in the legal wrangling over the pension fund still doesn't answer the biggest question of all. What will be done to keep the fund from failing and taking the financial futures of police and firefighters down too? But there's going to be serious financial consequences to the retirees, to the city of Dallas, potentially to the state. And so there's a lot of moving parts to this right now. Mike Gruber, an attorney for Mayor Rawlings in this lawsuit, uh, gave us a statement late this evening saying the mayor is, is primarily concerned about the projections that this fund could be insolvent in nine to ten years, keeping in mind that 40 years is considered the standard for a healthy fund. The mayor also, uh, the mayor's attorney, saying that any further sums paid out will have an effect on the length of time that a, a pensioner can expect financial security. Now, when we talk about long-term solutions, some in the pension system have said that the only solution is really going to come from taxpayers in the form of some sort of bailout to the tune of a million dollars. Some with the Dallas Police Association we know have been talking with lawmakers hoping that they take up this challenge in Austin when the session reconvenes in January. Steve. All right, Deanna, we're, we're used to uh, a judge's order or an order of the court kind of being the end of the story, but you said the retirees still have to wait on a decision from the pension board. Why isn't the court's order the end of the story? Well, originally when this TRO, this temporary restraining order was, was put into place, it happened after the board made its decision to freeze these drop payments. So uh, what this judge has done now today is said that she would open up the, the, the rules and she would allow the pension board to make that decision if the board chooses to do so. But again, the board would have to vote to do that. Steve. Okay. Brianna Zogan, Dallas, thanks.